technique and that ended up just I guess falling flat but I mean it's still the consistency hey guys on today's video we are going to be making a body butter now I've made a body butter using a pre-base I bought at the store hated it so I'm gonna see if I like it better making my original one with um, just shea butter and of course I'm gonna incorporate some other light oils into it but the base is gonna be shea butter and I'm just experimenting today so let's see how it goes Okay, to start off with, I have my shea butter. Now, I'm going to be making this cold process, so I am not going to heat up my oils and melt them down. I'm just going to put them in the blender. I cut up my shea butter, that way it's easier for it to break apart. I'm going to... can scrape out what is in here that way it can mix better okay I'm gonna go ahead and add my arrowroot powder and also while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and mix in my fragrance oil we'll be adding a preservative okay and you don't need to put in a preservative if it's all oils i'm just doing this because this is going to be my batch and i'd like to think my customers are like me when i get out of the shower first thing i do is put on some lotion or body butter so when i put my hands in there they're going to be damp and it is going to get introduced to water so that's why i add the preservative just to be safe just so that arrowroot powder doesn't go everywhere, we're going to go ahead and incorporate it in. Start this one and start to mix it up. In about two minutes you want to just scrape the sides down and right. it is the consistency of whipped body butter it is really soft so I'm just looking to see if this will be grainy since it is cold process and we didn't melt it down okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and just add in my mica now, for me, this is going to go with my Harbor Bay scent, so I want kind of like a bluish green. It's more on the blue side. And then I'm just going to be adding little by little. I don't want it tinted too much. <laughs> Six, so I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there. I don't want to whip it too much. The more air you have in it, the more it'll deflate. Okay, do a little dollop in the middle, and I'm gonna work my way around. And I'm going to bang it when it gets close to the top, try to make it settle a little bit, and then continue. Yeah. 
Okay, so this one was the store-bought base, and it was the very first one I did. You can see the difference. It was piped, and it fell flat. I did send these out to my testers. It did not <laughs> make it through shipping. It completely melted. The oil separated, where the one I handmade was very light, and made it through shipping. I live in a very hot, humid state, and I need to be able to ship these no matter what the weather is. And this one isn't cutting it where the other one definitely made it through shipping. So I'm definitely leaning towards going to making my own base. I will probably tweak the recipe a bit. I don't know if I'm gonna add coconut oil to it or some other oils. Some people use almond uh, seed oil, but I don't like how ran it goes rancid fast, so I probably will avoid that and just go with the coconut oil. We'll see. You can definitely see the difference, and even though it takes up more time, it's better for you to make your base of your body butters. I haven't ran the numbers on it, but the store base one that I bought, um, <laughs> it ran me $10.99 plus tax. And then I had to add my carrier oil along with fragrance oil and might get into it anyway. <clears throat> and I don't know if you read here, this is a whole lot of ingredients that they're using. Well, that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you next time.